Off Work Sports all the way live, trying to talk about it, you know, with a nine hour guy, knows more than your 24 hour full time job guy. That's what we do here. Let's talk about the draft, what just happened, Atlanta Hawks make a trade. I don't like the trade, but they made a trade for the, uh, with the New Jersey Nets. Oh, I'm from Jersey. Brooklyn Nets. Sorry, Brooklyn, because um, I'm from Jersey. Uh, for a draft pick. And Alex Allen Crabb, who has a big old contract. Big, big contract, right? So the preparation move here is, with this move, the Brooklyn Nets can now sign two max players, okay? They can sign two max players, okay? So let's see what happens here. Is there something more that we don't know about with the Brooklyn Nets? Do they have something on um, Mr. Kevin Durant that we don't necessarily know about? That, you know, that's a huge question. Is, is Kyrie Irving really going to the Brooklyn Nets? Next question, right? Now, with this space, can they still sign D'Lo? D'Lo is the point guard who was an all-star last year, who I feel was one of the reasons why they went to the playoffs, along with Karis LeVert. If you go ahead and sign Kyrie, hypothetically, sign Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, what does that do to D'Lo, who has to be re-signed? That's a big question. They could go over the luxury tax for these guys if they feel they're going to win a championship, go for an all for broke run. Um, they did make the playoffs last year. Is it a more intriguing spot for Durant? Some people say, yeah. I say the Knicks have more assets. I, I look at the young assets. I look at the team. I look at the coaching. I look how they finish off. I think the Knicks have a whole lot more assets as far as young talent that KD can play with versus the Brooklyn Nets. You know, Herzonia, if they can re-sign him. Dennis Smith Jr., Mude. I like these kids. Mitchell. I like these kids. Noah Vonley, I like these kids. And the proper in the proper system could be much more deadly than the Brooklyn Nets. Only I can see it, I feel like. You know, other guys gotta realize there's a lot of potential talent on the Knicks that KD can work with. Is it if he's willing to work with it? And they can also trade a lot of that talent as well. So that's the other thing. They're intriguing prospects that can give you big points, double double guys, you know that can go to another team and make a, a big effort and be intriguing for team needs. I don't see that as much with the Nets who are a homegrown team. I don't think they'll trade Spencer Dinwiddie. That's another great asset that they already have. So uh, that said, let's look at where they go. Uh, for the Brooklyn Nets, it opens up cat space. They also get Torrey and Prince. I think this was a great move on that part. I think they won out in that part of the draft. Torrey and Prince for the 17th pick. Hmm. I, I, I like that play. I think Torian Prince is an immediate contributor to the team. Is that he'll be a great backup. And again, they have some great talent on the team already. Uh, they, they really solidified their glue lineup, their defensive capabilities. It's, a, it's an intriguing play. Again, they can, and Durant and Irvin can go either way. But now the Nets are pretty much stacked up and ready to go for a good run um, for next year's next year playoffs. Um, that's if they make it. That said, now what happens to the Hawks who want to rebuild, who are the trust the process, trust the process of the South. And for me, it's real easy. With this draft pick, I've stated the, the Hawks can go, go for broke, okay? They can go go for broke all day long, okay? Bobo, you know, I, I like Kevin Porter Jr. People are not as high as him in the lottery. You know what you do? I'm hearing Bruno Fernando's working out well, all right? In my draft, I had Bruno Fernando going to the Bulls. People, watch Bruno Fernando. Watch my NBA draft analysis, top impact players. Watch that video. You'll see a lot of talent. I'm going to add on to that because what happened in the NBA um, draft combine where there was a few players who I thought will come back are still in the draft, such as a Jordan Bone, a Nick Claxton. These guys are very intriguing players and really – really throw the draft in a tailwind. This is an exciting draft for 2019. And now you have um, some, of, some of some great talents that could pay dividends as a second, um, what you call it, your best squad for scoring, like a Nick Claxton who reminds me of Chris Bosh or Jordan Bone, neg me if you want. Looks like a 2.0 Mike Conley, all right? 
great athleticism, a good generalship. He can be a steal in the second round. So all these guys, the guy from Florida State, Malik Kambakuli, he's moving up the draft as well. It's an exciting time, people. It's an exciting time for teams to really strategize. I think the Hawks do this. Eighth pick, go ahead and draft Bobo, okay? Best risk reward. Who cares, all right? You got time, all right? If, if Cam Reddish, one of the, I think Cam Reddish should be gone. So that's if Cam Reddish is gone, all right? Draft Bobo. Next up, the 10th pick, they have the opportunity. I would love to see Kevin Porter on the on the Hawks again, the backup herder. Um, but, hey, you can get him at 17. Go ahead and draft Bruno Fernando at number 10, okay? Even though I like their center lineup in current state, hey, build more assets, see what you got. Maybe release some of those guys, some of the older players. You have to pay more money. I love Alex Lynn. I hope they can keep him. I love Miles, but – there's too many there if they get Bruno Fernando. Probably got to let one of those guys go. Um, but I think Miles, uh, Miles Plumey and Alex Land are excellent centers. And they will play dividends for a team that's trying to go to the back to the playoffs and need some depth. So that's the other part of it. It'll be good for them as well um, if, the, if a trade's made. 17, go with Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, for me, that would solidify their lineup. And in the second round, there's a whole heap of things they can do. Second round of this draft is exciting. And I'm telling you, people always swipe off the second round. That's the round you should watch because there's guys like Fred Van Fleet in there that you could draft that's going to pay dividends. Fred Van Fleet was critical and pivotal to the Toronto Raptors making the championship. So all four sports, I'm going to sign off, just giving you some quick news. I'm going to do a full analysis tonight. Uh, I want to put that up, show you what's happening with the draft, where people should move, and also give you some news on these players that decide to stay in the draft who can be inciting picks. I'm out. Peace. Off work.